Don't worry about it. Good morning, Northwest Time is 6.52. It's time for your morning sprint. Caroline Flynn in studio with an important safety reminder for all of you planning on celebrating the 4th. And Mark Peterson tracking some rising temperatures. But first, one of the Inland Northwest's favorite 4th of July traditions, the fireworks on Lake Coeur d'Alene. The festivities start in just a few hours at 10 a.m. with the annual parade down Sherman Avenue, which attracts about 20,000 people. Later in the afternoon, the park will have live music and food trucks. And then after dark, the fireworks, what many call the greatest display in the Inland Northwest. You can buy tickets for the Lake Cruise, a great spot to watch the show. A new fire is burning in Grant County this morning. The Baird Springs fire is along State Route 28, just west of Quincy. It prompted level three evacuations last night, but those have since been downgraded to level one, meaning homeowners in the area should still be ready to leave if necessary. The Stormy Creek fire, about 18 miles northwest of Antiat, is now at 80 acres and 50% contained. The fire started on private property and moved to national forest lands on Sunday. Level one evacuations remain in place. So far, no structures have burned. The Conrad Fire in Yakima County is black in 5,200 acres. Crews are working on hot spots and hope to have the containment line up to 80% this evening. On an, uh, one outbuilding burned, but no homes have been destroyed. All evacuations have been lifted. We continue to have a pretty fair morning. We are going to see again some afternoon cloud cover coming in, and that's going to come in from Oregon. It's going to take a while to get here. The 24-hour forecast really just showing some winds firing up to 15 miles an hour, and we're going to have some uh, of the cloud cover that's going to be coming across. Things are looking pretty good. We're going to have a check of what you can expect for our extended outlook that's still to come. Well, looking ahead today, Kootenai Health and the Kootenai County Sheriff's Office want to remind voters that everyone aboard their vessel should have a life jacket. That goes especially for children. If they are 14 and under, it is the law. Accidents on the water can be more dangerous than on land as it can take help longer to get to you. A life jacket can help you get spotted sooner. And if you don't have one, go to a life jacket loaner station that is set up along Lake Coeur d'Alene. There is no excuse. And when getting your kid's life jacket on, make sure that the life jacket is Coast Guard approved. That means it's gone through rigorous testing to make sure it's capable of saving a life. Also make sure it's within the child's weight range. The city of Spokane hopes new LED lights and signs near the House of Charity will prevent future accidents. Between January 2015 and June 2018, there were 19 collisions and eight injuries at the corner of Brown and Pacific. Last Wednesday, the city of Spokane installed four of these solar-powered LED signs, which blink 24 hours a day to warn drivers of the foot traffic. Senator Maria Cantwell was in town yesterday talking health care with the Spokane medical community. The senator says she and her colleagues are working to defend protections for pre-existing conditions that were established by the Affordable Care Act. The press conference also featured members of the community who shared their experiences with pre-existing conditions and the ACA. The Senate Intelligence Committee says it believes Russia tried to help President Trump win the election. The committee says its conclusion is based on sound intelligence work, but is now at odds with the conclusion House Republicans reached a few months ago. President Trump denies the findings of the Senate. Eighty people were surprised with a free drink when they went to pick up coffee at the Dutch Bros on Francis and Monroe yesterday morning. It was thanks to the family of Debbie Wavada who wanted to pay it forward in her memory. Debbie lost her battle with ALS last month. Her family says she found extra comfort in her daily cup of joe, especially when she learned that one of Dutch Bros co-founders also died from the disease. Debbie's family says one of her final wishes was for coffee lovers to have a cup on her. Coming up next on Good Morning America, new images from the boys trapped inside a cave in Thailand as the window to rescue them shrinks. How safe it is it for them to stay down there? And we'll tell you about their conditions this morning. And heat waves sweeping the U.S., causing fires in the West, deaths in the East, when we might see some relief coming up. Here, we're going to be really one of the best spots in America when it comes to weather. We're not going to be too hot. We're not going to be too cold. We're going to have sunshine. It's going to be nice. 80 degrees for our high today. Now, our heat gets fired up for Thursday and Friday. We're going to be hovering around 90, 92 on Thursday. Some areas will see triple digits in the state of Washington. Just a reminder, we've not been in the 90s as yet this year, so get ready for that. Be prepared. Drink your water. Have your sunscreen. Make sure you seek shelter if you're feeling lightheaded or dizzy. And then we're going to have temperatures in the 80s next week, which is going to be amazing. It's just about right for yeah. summertime. It's going to be nice. Thank you so much for tuning in. Good Morning America starts now. We'll be sticking around. See you in a bit.